Hi folks, John here from Benson Fiat and Alfa Romeo in Greer, South Carolina. There's my card and contact information. I'm uh, going with part two here on the smart exhaust system project. And so uh, I already did the first part. So this is the second part and I've basically removed the factory uh, header. And uh, I wanted to show you a little bit here of what I removed so you can understand how to do this particular project. You're looking right here at the header itself. This is the factory header and it has a heat shield in here. That's the heat shield. That's what you see whenever you pull that uh, header off finally. These are 12 millimeter hex uh, nuts that need to be removed. So you need a 12 millimeter socket. Use a six point. You don't want to round those things off. And then there's also a a bolt right here that goes up and uh, I think that's an E14 is what you need and there's a nut right behind here that allows you to um, loosen this bracket because this has to be detached in order to remove it. It's very tight when you take this out by the way. Um, this is the heat shield and um, I think you saw it on the first video. It uses an E10 uh, socket. 3 8 drive is what I used and it was so tight in here what I had to do was to take this E10 socket, put it in place, and then take my vice grip and just clamp it and then twist it to bring it off. So um, that's what I had to do. So that might be a nice tip for you because you cannot get a ratchet in there. You can't get a drive in there. So this is uh, what I decided to use. And so when you take this off, and there's several of them that's the smallest size you take this shield back you can see um, the uh, locating uh, you know the uh, locating female threads there and this is the O2 sensor um, but uh, this is also a little pinch right here it's a little um, kind of a pinch type of finastener right there. It doesn't really have a connection per se. You just have to wiggle it off and uh, just put a little bit of WD-40 in there and wiggle it off. You can see where it's just kind of tensioned on there. It's like a clip. So once you get these off, then you can get the rest of it off. 21 millimeter to take off the um, downstream uh, O2 sensor. And then of course there's the other O2 sensor port right there. Uh, these bolts here connect the exhaust system like the muffler if you have an OEM unit that's the uh, bolts and there's the um, gasket in there see there's where it mates up right here to the solo high performance exhaust that I showed on part one of the video there's what I'm gonna put on and this is uh, the Doug Thornley header now uh, there's been some talk on the internet about the Doug Thornley headers being bad or exhaust being bad I believe it's just the exhaust system they made. So if you get a Solo, or um, there's a couple other ones out there, if you get those that has a flex pipe, you're okay. But I think the Doug Thornley exhaust did not have a flex pipe, and so they were breaking. And so um, I think the header though is okay. And you know, it looks pretty well made. I don't see where it's gonna be a problem. I'll just make sure I have it fastened correctly. And so these bolts here are going to go into those uh, thread impressions at the uh, header that's welded on. And then <clears throat> this bracket that's here will um, be over there. You see that bracket's already welded in. Okay, here's another heat shield right here. You'll have to remove this. There's three of these bolts. Um, one word of advice, go ahead and loosen all three of them at one time. And uh, don't just leave one tight and then try to get it out because this thing will bend like a piece of foil, you know. Let's go into the car and take a look here. Okay, there you can see the ports, the exhaust ports. I might try to clean those just a little bit before I put it all back together. And uh, it looks like the gasket is um, per perfectly able to be reused. That's what I showed you earlier. This little heat shield and gasket assembly just kind of goes up on here and you can see when you take it off there's these little uh, marks right here and it corresponds into uh, what's in the actual block of the car so this kind of just goes right up in here 
goes on that hole. There you go. That's how it fits. Okay. That's how it fits. So you'll put that on and then put your header on. Okay. Um, one of the bolts I took off the, uh, the whole thread stud came out. You can see it laying there. So I've got the um, four hex nuts, but one of them has a stud on it. And you can see where that one is right here is where the stud is. So that's not a big deal. I'm just glad it didn't strip out or break. So here's the other flange that's welded in to hold the exhaust. And of course, you've got the um, rubber suspension for the um, final exhaust portion of the car. Here's the suspension right here. Um, it's kind of tough to work in here, it really is. So take your time, make sure you use a PB blaster and WD-40. And uh, you might have to get a little creative with the way you use your wrenches. I have some wobble drives, and if you've never had a wobble drive, that's what a wobble drive looks like. It's got a little chamfer and allows you to um, move that plane a little bit whenever you're working with it. I have several of them. I have a quarter drive. I've got three-eighths drive. I've got half drive, and uh, they're very, very helpful in a project like this. Just make sure that you're right on that fastener nut on the header before you uh, put a little torque on it to loosen it because uh, you don't want to mess up. You don't want to be drilling the block or putting a, some kind of tapping thread in there. My goodness, you don't want to do that. Uh, so anyhow, um, also one other tip would be to um, go ahead and take the panel out so you've got access. And you can see down here, um, you'll have a little bit of access and you can also disconnect the O2 sensor. So you, um, that's, that's an easy job right there. You can see I've got a, um, a cold air intake system on here, and I put that on probably a year ago, and probably time to clean it while I'm in here, but um, makes a really good sound. And um, there's also, a, on this side, the opening for that is right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave out the, um, the uh, air box piping. There's a little snorkel. If I do that, I might get a little bit better airflow, believe it or not, instead of channeling everything through here. So um, I'm, I may just go ahead and discard this. Um, and so anyway, well, that's what I got. This is part two of three. I'll do a third part as soon as I put the uh, system in there and you can hear it run and everything like that. So anyway, just uh, a lot of fun, but it's um, probably worth it to do it. Pick up a little bit of torque, a little bit of horsepower, a little bit of sound. And so, what's not to like? Anyhow, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Look for part three soon. Bye-bye.